They... That just got off the turntable. Welcome back to Cinema Man. Today we're going to be continuing on Train to Motor Worlds 2 on the Spirit of Steam update, which is recently released. And as you can see, we're going to be going from Crew to Liverpool Lime Street in the LMS Jubilee, also known as the Stania 6P, I'm going to hopefully say. Well, no, it's the 8. Hang on. That's not enough camera. Yes, the Stania 6P, also known as the Jubilee class, uh, because one of the trains was nick nicknamed the Silver Jubilee. But yes, the uh, Spirit of Steam has finally been released for Train Simulator Worlds 2, and I will have to say the graphics do look good for what they are. Um, Apparently they were trying to spend a lot of time on the particle affecting of like the steam, but yeah, overall I'm quite happy with the way this has turned out. Uh, the controls are very complex inside the cab, and if I just come over here and do I think F1. Yep, there we go. I'm going to quickly grab a screenshot for the video. That'll do. Right. And we are almost done loading at the station, so once the signal is red and we have cleared all doors. So once that signal goes red uh, goes green, we shall be off. I'm going to prep the train in the meantime, uh, ready to depart. So I'm going to say I want that on. Uh, is a small injector on? No, it's not. You want these injectors on because it's these, um... Yes, it's these in, uh, ejectors here that do the brake control. And, uh... You need... Steam... Or vacuum... To open... Those. So, we're going to wait on that signal still. Uh, it should go green any second now. I'm going to prep the train, so I'm going to put it all the way into forwards. Yep, there we go. And now I'm going to... That's concerning. The brakes were released. Ah, that's why the handbrake's released. Uh, no, the handbrake was on. Right, okay, so... Hopefully when we apply some regulator, or throttle as it's better known, we should see a good amount Steam. Now we don't want to go too much on the regulator because otherwise we'll, we we will spin. Uh, we will spin the wheels, so not too much power. Otherwise we'll, we'll reenact Blue Peter, which is a train that was famous because it did a 90 mile an hour burnout essentially, and threw threw all of its rods and broke the wheels, twisted the axles, and yeah, we don't want that. So. Nice and gentle on the beginning of the, uh, nice and gentle, don't want too much. Can begin to increase uh, the regulator now up to about, yeah that'll do. Uh, trying to maintain a safe speed. But uh, now that we're on the way, let's get another good look at the interior. Our fire, fireman doing extremely well, doing his job. I see, he opened the door, closed the door. Um, yeah, mate, you're not doing it right. I've come back on the throttle since we are now going to be speeding. Uh, approaching, uh, I think we've gone past the um, sign. 
Uh, so as I said in previous videos about this game, uh, it lies. And the way the game does its thing, yeah, there we go. So I'm going to bring this up to about 70 and I'm going to come back on the... Uh, yeah, about there actually, that was perfect. Yeah, I'm going to come back on the reverse of this thing called. Uh, this essentially allows you to be more efficient with the steam. Uh, so it allows less steam into the steam chest, i.e. Uh, around here on the engine. That's an interesting name. Um, yes, so yeah, the, re the reverser is this arm here, controls the valve gear here. A bit of lag. Yeah, controls the valve gear here, and that's what uh, allows. And that's basically what puts um, the steam into the cylinders, and yeah, and controls all that stuff. Obviously, the regulator, being that arm there, uh, uh, it's basically essentially a massive lever that comes through the boiler or on top of the boiler into that regulator dome. That's where the steam is regulated and then sent down. To either side of the engine. I will have to say the attention to detail on these engines is pretty good. Alright, that is some solid work. I noticed our fireman has been doing a bad job at keeping our pressure. But I didn't want to open those. So I'm going to cut back on that a bit. Just so, yeah, there you go. Just going to cut back on that to about 45, yeah. Just so that we're gaining enough pressure to keep us alive and also keep our speed. Um, yeah, but as you can see, the, that's open. I'm also going to give us a little bit of that. Give me more. Give me more. Give me, I've noticed... Yeah, this, hold on. It's better if I get up and do it. Yeah, that'll do. Oh, yes. Our nice seat. Which just folds out. Um, essentially, what that is, the blower. It's not inappropriate. This is the actual term for it. That uh, essentially just injects a massive amount of steam... Uh, through, the, through to the smoke box at the end and it basically just creates a draft which goes up through the fire through the boiler and then now uh, chimney there which obviously uh, gives you the opportunity to um, make the fire really hot because uh, it's getting more oxygen drawn into it and you can uh, get a nice Nice big fire going on in there. Our coal is looking very uh, 2D texturized. A couple of 3D lumps uh, here and there. Lovely. And our amazing lamp, which does not much, but it does enough. I have no idea where these actually have their use. Uh, the water. Uh, these water, that's the water inlet for the uh, injectors, which obviously help put water into the boiler uh, via high pressure steam. Now, I could have hopefully managed to get this train going a lot faster. Uh, hopefully, I could have been going a lot faster by now, but obviously, our fireman is not really doing much of a good job maintaining that steam. I've noticed. The fireman is a bit slacking in this game. Ideally, I do. I did want those up, but uh, a lot earlier than he did. Uh, the dampers essentially that allows that controls a flap, which again um, allows air to be sucked, well, sucked in up through the fire um, via the draft of the train moving. I believe that's what they are. Output. Yeah, I, b I believe that's what they are. Uh, if, if I'm wrong, uh, please don't shout at me in the comments. I'm only merely uh, 
I'm, I'm, I'm only I'm mainly used to uh, small scale stuff. So don't please don't shout at me in the comments. But yes, we're going by location. Uh, forgotten how to. Yep, there we go. So yes, go via location, and then we're going to stop. Load passengers. Go via location. Stop. Load passengers. Go. Oh no, actually, they'll be it. Yes, Liverpool Lime Street. Yes, uh, nice timetable. This thing is definitely getting to pick up speed now. The fireman's doing his job. I think I can cut back on the throttle now. Or the regulator. Bring it to about there. I'm going to bring this back as well, just that way we get more efficiency from the steam. Actually, I'll put that at that and then bring that up to 40, just like that. So, obviously, you know, as, you're, as we're going faster, the more steam obviously being pushed through the engine. Obviously, the reg this um, reverser allowing you to be more efficient and just control the amount of power you get through the regulator there. So we want enough power with a bit of efficiency. That way we can get our steam back up, which is climbing quite quickly now, uh, the steam pressure. And we should be picking up some speed, since we are now going downhill. So yeah, I'd say this has gone pretty well. Let's have another, while, now that we are okay with the maintenance of the engine, we just now let it do its thing. Let's take another look outside and see our, uh, what we're hauling. Now these are going to be some Mark 1 carriages. Uh, Mark 1 because these are basically the kind of first style that was generalised using um, bogies which rotated and allowed the carriage to be longer and able to go round corners. I see we are hauling one, two, three, four, five, six, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten carriages, I believe. So, nice long train, not too long, but we are definitely getting there in terms of speed. So, notice um, in third person while I'm doing this, my camera tends to lag out the game a bit. I'm not sure if that's my laptop either dying or if that's just in general the game. I have messed around with the uh, graphical settings. Uh, I was running on 4K, but I noticed uh, my laptop was beginning to kill itself, so I've dropped it back down to 1080p at 1920 by 1080 something like that. Oh yes, and you do have to actually fill up your water tank a couple of times. Uh, not as... Um, like not while moving, obviously, like this, but there are a couple of scenarios where you do have to stop and fill up. Uh, there are definitely a couple of uh, scenarios that involve that. And we appear to have driven 10 miles, which is quite nice. How's our... You've left that open, mate, which... Th oh, okay. I was going to say, if you're just going to sit there and relax, uh, maybe leaving that open was a bad idea. That's how you cool off the fire. You get cold air going through the top, not the bottom. Are you going to close the door? Or am I going to have to force it shut for you? I'm going to have to force it shut for you, aren't I? No, I'm okay, okay, I guess you're just going to do your own thing, aren't you? Okay. Whatever you want to do, mate. And also the semaphore signals as well implemented into the game. Uh, working really well actually. Oh, cool greens there apparently. Yes, semaphore signals were the, uh, basically used a mechanical arm to change the colour through stained glass, I believe it is. Obviously we can get our camera 
stick it next to our amazing character and then sort of keep it like that sort of driver view looking out the window quite nice yeah there we go so typically typically um, I believe also back before we had speedometers and all that uh, I believe they drivers used to um, judge their speed on how what how fast the sleepers were going past so the sleepers um, are the bits of wood in between uh, the tracks that hold the track that hold the metal rails down to the ground um, yeah the driver used to about like count how many of those are going past per or like just visually see how fast they're going past, past and judge the speed based on that but yeah, now they've, obviously, with um, British Railways regulations, all steam engines that are um, going on the main line have to have a speedometer now. And it's, I believe, not on this. No, it isn't. So this, yes, this would not be allowed on the main line today. But it's essentially just a little... Um, dynamo, that's all. It hooks onto the back wheel there and does its thing and uh, judges the speed off of that. Just let's get some more nice camera angles of this. Amazing locomotive. Obviously, there's a whistle being implemented into the game, because uh, why not? It's one thing I kind of don't like, is the uh, whistle, uh, if I come in here to the cab a sec, uh, it's just, yeah, there's no, you have basically no control, it's either on or it's off, actually. We are going 90 miles an hour, so I'm going to bring back the regulator to about 20. So that way we get enough, we still have pressure, uh, steam going through the pistons, allowing us to basically uh, counteract air resistance and all that, and friction. But yes, this whistle is annoying. I wish you could actually click and drag like you could with this. So it only on, so it'll only be on for a certain amount. But no, this is just either on or off, and that is really annoying to me, because I want to do, like, no tone whistles, but you can't. It's just the one tone. And the safety valves have gone off, indicating we are... speed... Indicating we have good pressure, and good... just everything else, generally. My game didn't like that as we changed objectives. Yes, I've definitely noticed a big performance issue with my laptop recently. Um, sure, it is red, it's a relatively new one. Uh, it's pretty high specs. I think the problem might be just updating Windows. Because uh, that does tend to... Well, the updates do tend to kill a laptop after, every, every now and then. Uh, operating systems and such. Oh, wow. It really doesn't want that um, regulator, does it? I'm going to try that, see if... Nope, still. Cut that back even more on this. Wow, okay. Oh poo, um, that's a problem. There's a speed limit thing here and I completely forgot about it. 
and that's what we call in the trade not paying attention Jesus um, I might be able to make this one 65 Yeah, I'm not paying attention to that speed change. I was too busy uh, with other things in the game. So, uh, that would be a big... Let's bring that back up. Oh dear. Mm -hmm. Ooh, come on. Off we come, off we come. That's why it's not... That needs to go back on. That's why. Yeah, these things are not, uh, these things are not easy to control. Uh, you have to be very vigilant, and you have to do a lot, um, a lot of main, like maintaining all the different things and different things, like something up. Yeah, you have to do a lot. Turn that back off again. Normally, you would have this small one open, just that way you keep keep them off, and then you have this one, which just does gets them off if, for like harsh braking and stuff like that. I think I can increase the throttle a bit. Just to get us back go just to get us back going again. Uh, probably about there. Since we are going up a 0.7 gradient. As we are four miles away from Run Corn Platform 2. Lovely. So all that pressure we just built up, um, yeah, that's slowly going down. Problem is we sort of need that pressure to get up this hill. Yeah, we are slowing down because of this hill. So I'm uh, probably a bit too harsh on the brakes there. Uh, to be truthfully honest. Uh, I wasn't paying attention to the speed limit change at all, but... I suppose that's the joys of recording and getting distracted by trying to think of stuff to talk about. Obviously... Oh. There's another 6p. Yeah, we are now slowing way down because of this 1% gradient. Not good. Gonna have to increase this up to about there again. Just so we can get up this hill. Uh, which does begin to level out, which is good. Yeah, there we go. It's literally just leveling out. In fact, it's going back down again. So that's uh, always good. But yeah, wow, we lost way too much speed there. That would uh, not be good. But yeah. It's all fairly going well. We are keeping pressure, sort of. As I said before, this thing is a tricky engine, that. Huh. I have a feeling my fireman might be doing a lot more than I think he's meant to do. Well, what I thought the game was making him do. Door. Wow. I, I felt so rewarded after opening that. Yeah. Being in struggle now, going up another hill. Obviously, yeah, I've dropped way too much speed on that when I shouldn't have. Yeah. Yeah, no. I won't do that. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. 
that was a freight locomotive, I believe an 8F. I, I receive an IVIT. I think it's an IVIT um, 8F, I believe it is. That they have in this game. Don't remember much from the patch notes. All I know is they introduced Steam, and that's all I sort of cared about, really. Uh, when we're about a mile out, I'll begin braking, I guess. Since we are now going down a 0.9% gradient. Uh, again, really, that's the thing about uh, Steam. It's more judgment-based than... Um, uh, the diesel electrics of the day. They're more driver assisted than steam. Just gently bring on combination brake, 50. Actually, maybe a bit more. Shall open that just in case. Getting slowed down, approaching uh, Uncle. But actually, we're um, coming in quite early and fast, so I might use all the brakes. And I'll go to the third person view, so get a nice exterior shot of the engine. Uh, that said 500 yards, did it not, or am I being blind?
off those two mishaps and the fact that I forgot to uh, turn my mic on for that previous segment, so enjoy some non-copyrighted music uh, in the background. We have gone past the signal that was at danger, even though on the second run it still is at danger. Hence why I slowed down in antas in in yeah. and anticipated its uh, redness. And when it'll go green, because I calculated that's like an engineer. Uh, we won't forget about uh, the fact that I forgot to turn the microphone on for the previous recording. Uh, it's only what, six minutes that I believe I missed out on, so yeah, it's good three songs, I think. Or good four, depending on how I edit this and how long the music video bits are or whatever, but yes. It's, uh, journey hasn't been the smoothest of ones. Uh, it's not been the smoothest out of all of them. Um, could be worse. That's how you say. Yes, yes. We will definitely need to improve... Well, I need to find a way to actually turn the microphone on permanently when I'm recalled. Because uh, I have to manually turn it back on using Star Alt M on the Xbox on the Xbox um, game thingy. Every time I start recording, and it is yes, you get in instances where I do forget to turn my microphone on. Mildly annoying, but unfortunately, I got too far into it before I realised. And yeah, so that was some good non copyrighted music, I believe. Also, taking a few screenshots, obviously, for uh, seeing which one I'll probably use for the thumbnail as well. Some good scenery as well. You know, that's a thing that actually worked out well. Because uh, that section was quite of a scenic moment as we went past all the uh, factories and that viaduct going onto a bridge and also as I pointed out the canal where the boat was in that very glossy mud uh, but again you didn't really hear much of that I don't know if I'm doing voiceover or I'll just I don't know I'll find out in editing In the meantime, we shall just glide and hopefully build up speed, which I am not really doing much of. Then again, we were going uphill for a good portion of that, so. Are you going to be a good green signal? Yes, you are. Yeah, I've become uh, slightly paranoid of signals now, so I'm constantly now... Well, I say, well, yeah, I'm constantly checking that top right of the screen constantly now. That seems to be my main focus. Because, uh... Yeah. You still don't see most of what happens behind the scenes. That would be very boring. I believe this is a uh, well lag for one. Yeah, no. yep. Yeah, well, we're here, so we're not too far away from Liverpool Lime Station, and also 
the other one we have to stop at, which I've got. Yeah, I believe we had to wait for him. Uh, him over there. Uh, to get out of our way before we could go flying past. I, that's what I reckon happened. So we have to wait for that. We have to wait for that one. Get out of our way. Hmm. Somebody was doing some construction work. It's good to know. Some default sheds. Quite a few default sheds. Full um, area to have a look at things. Gonna quickly go back into the cab, turn the blower off. So we don't need it at this precise moment in time because we are using quite a bit of steam on. Well, we're losing a fair amount of steam uh, through the safety valves. Beginning to pick up some speed now, going up a 0.3% hill. Pick up some speed. And uh, we're going via location. Uh, stop at Edge Hill, platform 3, load passengers, and then we'll stop at location of Liverpool Lime Street, which isn't too far away. I have a feeling I might be late. I'm not sure. I don't know, I haven't really experimented with this timetable much. And again, I am relatively new to... I am relatively new. Yeah, we are late. I don't know if it wasn't for those um, signals. I think that's what did us over there, those signals. I suppose it is realistic. Uh, the timetables. It's uh, we won't go into uh, so we won't we won't go into Southern's reputation now, will we? And Tedford. Really, just all of the British Railway. Won't go into their timetable anytime soon. Oh, I just realised what I did there, and I now hate myself for that. Oh no. Oh no. Desperate attempts, a call for desperate measures. Apply the handbrake! Yes, we might actually make this signal. Hell yeah. Get a few hundred yards away. I don't care from my history with these. God damn it. Go slightly forwards. Mm. That was the problem. A bit more power. Inch up towards the uh, signal. Where that signal do be, I don't know. Uh, 
just here, isn't it? Now, my next question is, did we break the game into not allowing us... That is really not enjoying life. Are we, are we too late is my question. Well, I guess, uh, we're sitting here for a while, I guess. A few minutes later. Right, finally, as you can see, uh, some time has gone. Now we finally do have the green signal. I think I had to wait for the stopper that was over there to go past. But that doesn't matter now because we are allowed to leave at last. Oh, come on. Come on. Bit of a straddle there. Yeah, we are definitely late now, but uh, there's not much I can do. Uh, those signals were out there, really, against us. Mildly annoying. Yes, the only problem with us, well, the only problem with me having to wait through that signal is I have slightly become bored of just sitting there and I may now run out of things to say, so uh, don't expect too much, I guess. Apply a little bit of brake, just that way we can slow down for this uh, 20 mile an hour speed limit. I'll be about it. May have put the brakes on a bit too much there. Fighting against the brakes a little bit. We're going to do the 20 mile an hour speed loop quite happily. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, so it turns out that was uh, mildly annoying, and I guess I've lost control of those now. Right. And that's another red signal in front. God damn it. At least it's at the station this time, so... It's 
not all too bad. Also, bloody hell lag. They weren't there before. I could have sworn I'd actually turned those off. I guess my game has either bugged itself or has completely said, nope, not going to listen to you at all. Might be why I've kind of had such a bad issue with uh, the signals, actually. It's probably the game being like, yeah, the one time you decide to record me, I'm just going to go, nope, bad signal, bad signal, bad signal, oh, and I've ignored all your settings. Ah, uh, this is fun. It's definitely been eventful so far. Yeah, we are definitely, definitely going to be late. Ah, <laughs> uh, so fitting for the uh, British Rail. Managed to accurately capture. The spirit of steam. They use their own title against them. <laughs> Not bad. Stop. I'm gonna open the doors. Let everyone do their thing. See now the thing is, normally when I'm playing this game, uh, if you noticed on the floor there was those markers saying where to stop. Uh, normally that's not there for me. I don't. I thought I'd turned them off. But I guess the game has other things to say. So, um, yeah, that's always fun. And I believe that is Liverpool Lime Street Station, just down the yonder there. Obviously a bit further than that, but yeah, through there, and then there's Liverpool Lime Street, and then that's basically the end of this. And I can say, finally, at last, we are going to end the video, because I think, I'm not 100% sure, but it is definitely dragging on for a bit. It's definitely beginning to drag on. It's definitely been an interesting scenario where we've had to keep checking out the signals and now I think we're going to have to wait for another signal. Right. We now have a green signal, so gonna release the brakes here, wait for them to build up. I'll wait for the vacuum to build up to release the brakes. Uh, open the cylinder emptiers because of lack of other words. Uh, we've got a green signal and uh, ready to depart. Put a bit of regulator on. Uh, just get it going, nice gentle start. Again, we're not in too much of a rush because the uh, station is 1.3 miles away. Give it a bit more power to get it going, get some speed. And, uh, yeah, final stretch at last. Put that light on just purely so I can see a bit better while uh, going through this, whatever. Whatever part we are in, and obviously our fireman is still shoveling coal in, I wonder. I force you to stop. I guess I can. That's good to know. Yes, we are approaching the 15 mile an hour speed limit at 20 miles an hour. So. I'll keep her, I'll keep her going for a bit, and then we'll begin breaking around 500 yards, something like that. Probably do us good. Yeah, begin breaking now, I'd say. So down just in time for the 500, uh, 15 mile an hour speed limit. Game's still stuttering a bit.
bit more brakes so that way we're not over speeding a little bit but yeah 50 mile now that's what that'll do release the brakes and just coast into the station I guess it's really gonna be uh, just yeah control the brakes and then we'll find out what happens if I need any more regulator or not yeah, I don't know what this uh, place is, or what you call this, but uh, I also have just noticed my lights have gone missing. And we are beginning to overspeed a little bit, so... Uh, put the brakes on. But yes. Don't know where, I don't, yeah, I don't know what you'd call this. Uh, spare wheel. Yeah, there's a track back there. Um, my lights back on since they vanished. Again, just coasting into the station, 900 yards away. Liverpool Lime Street, platform 7. Slightly late, but um, there's not much you could do about that. Oh, well, there's not much I could do. Those uh, signals were definitely a problem. Uh, Slowing us down. I really don't know what that what you'd call this spot. And then there, uh, yeah, there's a signal uh, telling us platform seven. We are clear to go into the platform. Uh, it's basically feathering on the brakes every now and then. Just keep it a nice around 15 mile now. And, uh, I didn't want to do that. There we go. Get a nice uh, uh, camera angle. Train emerging from the darkness into the light. That's, yep, there we go. Lovely. Now, main priority is uh, hopefully trying to figure out and stopping. And there's uh, another train over there. I uh, don't know what he's doing. Yes, these uh, markers on the ground here. I uh, don't know what's happened, but I uh, definitely did turn them off on the settings. I could have sworn I did. Uh, yeah, that is. Yeah. Gonna slow down a bit, so I'm gonna use. There we go. That'll do. Ah, see that train over there is on the uh, turntable. I wonder where he's uh, off to. Because he'll be. Uh, uh, probably go to one of these trains over here. In fact, one of those trains is probably the reason why we're late. But yeah, there he goes off the turntable. But yeah, bring her in, nice and gentle. Gentle on the brakes. Nice slow stop. Yeah, coming in almost eight. Yeah, eight. Over eight minutes late now because of the signals and hey, what you're gonna do? It's British Rail, after all. Yeah, maybe about there. A little bit more break now, actually. Oops, safety valve's going off. Um, yep, about there. Perfect, lovely. Unlock the doors and uh, load passengers, and then that will be about it. Now then, what's our friend doing over here? Reversing. Okay, okay. So yeah, he's definitely going to go couple up to one of those two trains. Uh, the, probably the one over to the left. Uh, he might be going to go couple up to that. So I'll just quickly run over there, get a good camera angle of that, and we'll see how well the AI couples um Oh uh, the train. Yeah, I think yeah. Yeah, just yeah, he's he's definitely going over to that one. Meaning it was probably that one there, that uh, locomotive and train that probably was the stopper that held us up with all those signals. And I just 
just, just do something very not health and safety related. Just, yep, yep, no one saw that. Definitely safe. Ah, uh, yep, there he is, backing into. Yep, there he is. Backing up to a uh, couple up to the carriages to take the train. Back towards where we started. Coming in a bit fast there. There's a regulator still on. Okay, uh, yeah, you've got your bulk. Yeah, the bulk eye is. Yeah, you can't couple up to that. It's. Yeah. Mate, oh, no, okay. No, he's actually put it away. The AI is smarter than I thought. Uh, how will he. Oh, it's pretty good. These couple. Wow. I am genuinely surprised at the AI that they could actually do that. Uh, yeah, another. Not the same as my locomotive, just different name and different number. Anyway, speaking of my locomotive, let's go back and uh, lock the doors. Um, sure. Uh, you don't think you quite got the gist of that, but I'm going to leave you for now. I've got a train to manage. Yeah, the, the game definitely continues to amaze me but then again it is uh, it is the early release of the update so it's not much we could we can really do there yeah objective complete and that's how we've done not bad not bad so um yeah pretty decent run a uh, few signals that we got held up with and uh, on that note uh, being late uh, like and subscribe uh, don't forget to like comment and all that stuff and uh, yeah hope you enjoyed the video and uh, well I guess uh, see you next uh, see you next time in the next video depending on what it is I don't know you'll probably find out whenever it releases goodbye